Your core is quite possibly 80% weaker than you think it is. And these five moves will both be a litmus test and help you fix it. But if you're still doing sit-ups, ab machines, crunches, and these basic mainstream fitness things, then you're training like a cave person. Those things are mainstream for a reason. Least common denominator, like common core. First move is from hand balancing element of powerbatics. We'll start easy. It's the V stand. When I'm specifically training strength, I do five rounds of 30 second holds. But a lot of people can't start there. And that's fine. You just need to build it piece by piece. You need a combination of hamstring flexibility and core strength all the way down into your legs. We see it all the time for newcomers to Pacific Rim Athletics. Here's something you might be able to do right now. Just start with 50 one leg pulses on each leg. See how that feels. Seriously, I can't wait to hear the comments. Second move from Ninja Strength Element. Boy, that escalated quickly. This will solidify your core and prevent a ton of back pain. But we see it in comments all the time. People saying, oh, this is too advanced, or you're gonna get people hurt, or what you really should be doing is yada, yada, yada. Listen, what's basic to some is advanced to others, and vice versa. Commit to a sensei, teacher, coach, etc., and you'll actually end up making more progress in two months than in two years trying it on your own. Now, a lot of people aren't gonna be able to hop up and do a front lever. I couldn't. Now, I tell the story all the time that I never really trained pull-ups, only martial arts, hand balancing, flips, and power moves. But when I went to do pull-ups and then muscle-ups, they were pretty easy from all the stabilization strength that was built over time. I could even do dragon flags just from watching the Rocky movies when I was in my teens. I used a picnic table and did sets of five, no problem. But I think it took me about two months to build the front lever with my over six foot tall frame and lanky legs. Two things that helped me, hollow holds and the bent leg front lever. Third move, ready? Flares from power moves. Now don't say this is too hard or too dangerous. Just the action of attempting to build these will change the way you think about all of your training. Around the worlds work beautifully here. You don't need to be a crazy power mover doing all kinds of combos, just working the shapes and building your frame. I told you I share stuff nobody else will, but you can't be lazy with this kind of training. It just won't work. All of this takes time, hard work, and a positive mindset. It separates the wheat from the tares, to use Jesus' words. Fourth move, meat hook from Cirque, especially the one arm. It's training towards goals. And as beyond reach as some of these moves may appear to you right now, you need to train towards them. One such progression that, yeah, it might feel hard right now, but give it a try, are wipers. Straight legs, straight feet, not all bent leg like a caveman. On the same note, don't worry. We're not gymnastics form Nazis demanding perfection or else tears. Just keep it as clean as you can. When people can't straighten their legs, it's a sign of bad inflexibility. Don't worry though, you can build it simultaneously by extending through everything in all of your training. But you might need to start with good solid hanging tuck wipers and that's okay too. But be careful because we've heard of people rupturing their shoulders from simple hangs like this. And when they engage their shoulders to lift their legs, their shoulder tears. I even recently saw a video saying, say goodbye to tight shoulders and showing people this move, which is going to actually tear it. That's why I always say, get a coach or a sensei, train holistically. Fifth move from free run. A lot of people will do box jump ups, but that's incomplete. Instead, do jump downs to rolls. This will move you through all sorts of different aspects of physics as you go airborne, hold frame, hit the ground, and disperse the energy. It can be from a basic jump to a shoulder roll, or a full turn to a shoulder roll, or a front flip, or even a huge gainer to a shoulder roll. But you know what's the most difficult part of the roll? Standing up without using your hands. Because you have to use your core to maintain the tuck in an off-balance position that's pulling you in the opposite direction. And then this turns into free run katas with running, bounding, leaping, flipping, and more. Or ninja strength katas like this, where you're hanging and transitioning from move to move to move seamlessly with expert core strength. Or hand balancing, where you are really put to the test. You see, a lot of people depend on their youth for their fitness and athleticism. 20, 30, even 40 somethings will go rock climbing on the weekend or jump around in the CrossFit box or get thrown around in the cage. But unlike F1, where you can throw a new Ferrari on the track, you can't throw a new body on the track. You have to build and maintain it. And a lot of people don't realize their training is actually dependent on youth while simultaneously breaking them down for their future age. Try some of these and tell me how it goes. And if you want help, talk to my team to get started in the next day or two. See you in the next video that's coming up on the screen and designed to help you and see you in training soon.